Um, first of all, let me assure everybody that the Filipino people are very spiritual people and life is sacred. So human rights is universal and the uh, protection of human rights is paramount. In fact, the campaign against drugs is a campaign to protect the human rights of the 105 million uh, Filipinos. The president is aware that in protecting uh, human rights of all, there has to be rules, and the rules have to be universal. Uh, we were talking to the uh, European and American uh, business chambers and uh, businessmen doing business in the Philippines. And they said, sir, this is our problem. We are telling our headquarters that it is safer in the Philippines. We are telling our people in the, in the headquarters it is not true that there are massive killings or extrajudicial killings. The problem, sir, is that in the foreign media, in Europe and the U.S., they only show uh, the rhetorics of the president when he is mad at certain uh, criticisms against the Philippines. They do not show the, the, the statements that are very presidential, presidential. They don't show the statements where he says police cannot abuse and that they are worse than criminality. We did make a presentation in the UN, and just to give you a glimpse of the presentation, uh, um, in the six years of President Aquino, there's been more than 90,000 operations against drugs, legitimate police operations. In only 10 months, there has been 50,000 operations. So naturally, the more operations, more arrests, so 60,000 people have been arrested, more surrenderies, 1.2 million, 1 million 266,000 Filipinos who are either pushers or users have surrendered voluntarily. And uh, close to 3,000 have been killed in presumed legitimate police operations. Those are the real numbers. The numbers that you're hearing, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, are the homicides. Many have concluded that 82% actually are, are saying that the Philippines is much safer. And that's 82%. Filipinos basically love what's happening right now in the Philippines. Investments last year, especially the second half, was 100% higher than the first half. No? And investments January to April this year grew 31%. And exports even, all those uh, uh, manufacturing, exporting outside, they've gone uh, up by 18% for the first quarter. No? So a lot of pos very positive indicators, especially on the investments. And the investment confidence is here. Business confidence actually has gone up to 34% when it used to be less than 10%. And consumer confidence used to be negative. Uh, number is now positive 14%.